Hi my friends, today we model this part which has some uh, interesting features. The name is Grip Clamp and the source is from Timoteo Carrasotto. You see this is a filter, magnetic filter and we study this part as you can see. We take dimensions also from here. We take a look to the thread and this projection. This part is taken from uh, Timoteo Carasotto drawings and you can uh, download it by watching the tutorial number 182. This is my drawing and we can start by using dimensions. We start with this uh, cylindrical feature, standard millimeters IPT, XY plane, rectangle, This is uh, center line, diameter of 18, wow, 18 it is 16, finish sketch, revolve, and this is the first volume, my friends. We continue with this uh, system of grips. You see, all of them have the thickness of three. Yes, and you see three also here. Dimensions are in the drawing, so we can start. The plane is XY. For the new sketch, F7, we draw lines, the first starts from this end of the superior horizontal and it goes somewhere here, uh, then here, right, up, left vertical and it goes back to this point. Dimensions if I draw a line here and I consider it as a center line we can place dimensions just like uh, like diameters 95 this is not placed here let me project this line then coincident them This is uh, this is five. We must start with small dimensions, not large. Seven is this. And uh, the total vertical dimension is 46. 46. This is 29. And 
to continue we draw also the other lines because they are uh, uh, not independent line from this center to somewhere here and to this end the other one starts also from this it is parallel with the the other one and goes here we make parallel also this two the dimension is three this line is also parallel with this line the dimension here is four millimeters this point is placed at 83 and this dimension is uh, 27 now we can move a little this line because this dimension is 57 57 one dimension we have to find yes that dimension is this one which is equal to this one yes and now we have a fully constrained sketch in the first moment we must hide uh, these lines we make them construction and we have to close uh, the first contour the external contour when we apply extrude this line is considered as a normal line when we apply revolve this line is an axis good we have a fully constrained sketch but i want to take advantage that we are here to apply also fillets you see this internal is 5 7 this is of course 10 because this is 3 this is uh, not necessary this or this let's use this one and radius 12 is this one radius 10 and radius 7 have the same center I can place this center and you see the situation okay fillet 5 here then 10 this one then seven the other one I have to place this dimension and 12 is the last I make this construction but I can leave them as they are no problem this contour 
will be used for the first extrude finish sketch extrude you see inventor recognize this uh, contour we apply symmetrical and three okay a new sketch in the same plane F7 and we make visible the previous sketch visibility why because I want to project some lines as you can see here I hide the other sketch and I make visible or uh, normal these four lines. I also project one, two, three and I connect only this two finish sketch you see the extrusion is 18 symmetrical extrude symmetrical 18 okay now I place that uh, undimensioned fillets which are in some uh, places as we can see okay now I apply mirror of one two three features about this plane okay then I add same two millimeters for these uh, edges Yes, very good. Okay, the last thing to do is to apply this metric 10 and this chamfer of 0 0.7. Hole, face, center, and everything is uh, already. Uh, set here so we can apply ok then chamfer 0 0.7 let's see what about the volume physical update copy, close, drawing, double click, paste. Alright, the same. Cancel. I, I don't have to modify anything here. Good. Now I apply the material which is uh, still cast then the general aspect of uh, turquoise I select some faces to make them uh, 
machined you see I use the keyboard I select shift and I click on selection then I apply the still polished color from that uh, faces I apply view shaded and now we don't see any difference there is a difference of uh, this uh, color selected before but you use what you see here that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye